Hello there everybody and welcome to another video. Yes, it's been a while, but I'm back temporarily. I'm back for this video and then I'll probably go silent again. But yeah, I'm back with another video just because it's my three year anniversary. Yes, the 11th of October 2017 when I released a short introduction video and then my first DVD collection video and I'm still here somehow for some reason. I wanted to do a video to sort of celebrate but I didn't know what so I decided let's just do a Q&A. So you sent me some Q's and I'm gonna give you some A's. Here we go. We shall first turn to Instagram where we have a whopping two questions. First, uh, this comes from the Crispy Squid. They ask, what is your favourite Dalek design? That's a really difficult question. I don't think I could pick a favourite. They're all just really, really pretty. But I always have time for the time controller. He's just, oh, look at those curves. Mm. Instahoo1963 asks, have you ever eaten fish fingers and custard? No. But, I would. Now turning over to Twitter, our old friend Magnus asks, what's your credit card number? Magnus also asks, what is the worst thing you've ever made? Probably my first series of audio adventures. Actually, probably just most of my YouTube channel. Yeah, that was, that was starting YouTube, that was a pretty bad decision that I made. The Good Dalek, loyal fan, here from day one-ish, I think. He asks, life on Mars or ashes to ashes? Ashes to ashes, every way to Sunday. Sorry, that's just, life on Mars is good, don't get me wrong, it's really good. But ashes is just better, in my opinion. Favourite comedy show slash shows? Um, of all time, Mr Bean. Mr Bean has a really special place in my heart. Uh, recently, I've been working my way through my family with my family. I I'm watching my family with my family, if that makes sense. That's pretty good. Still game, obviously, is a classic. And um, a bit of Fry and Laurie. That's just Stephen Fry and Hugh Laurie being weird. And it's fantastic. It's all on Netflix, so you really should give that a watch. Most underrated Doctor Who stories. Silver Nemesis, Shada, the Monk trilogy from series 10, and all of the key to time, apart from the power of Kroll. That's just bad. Thoughts on the new B&M sets? They all look great. The only ones I'm really interested in are the Daleks, obviously. Who isn't? And also that TARDIS set. That, that looks really nice, and I would kind of like a hatted Fifth Doctor. That's the reason I, I never got the Androzani TARDIS. One, because it was dirty, and two, the Doctor was dirty. I just didn't really see the point in that. I was holding out for a sixth Doctor and TARDIS, but this will do me nicely. So hopefully I can get my hands on them at some point soon. Ivan asks, what is, in your opinion, Big Finish's greatest achievement? Um, the fact that they exist and that they're still going, because it was just a group of fans who got together to make a fan thing and it spiralled into this. It's just amazing. It's quite inspirational and I just love Big Finish. Everything they do is incredible and yeah, it's just, it's just fantastic. I don't think I could pick one particular thing that they've done. What has been the most fun part about making your Lego animations? I assume you're talking specifically about the brick finishes. The filming is really annoying. It takes a lot of time and the sets are so wobbly. The editing, putting all the scenes together and making them sync up with the audio, that's quite fun. Except for the Dalek lights. They are so annoying, oh my god. And also, the response. They are definitely the most successful videos on my channel. They just rake in the views. But yeah, um, they, they're always the most popular ones. They get loads of nice comments. Um, that's definitely the nicest thing, getting all the nice feedback. That's um, That means a lot. And finally from Ivan, are you partial to the nut? Do you even need to ask 
Now some questions from Christopher Leeper, aka Doctor Who Adventures on YouTube, one of the best channels on YouTube. Him and his brother, they're just, they're so cool. Big shout out to them. If you haven't seen them or heard of them somehow, go and subscribe. They're, they're great. Uh, he asks, which companion could have made a really good doctor? Instinctively, I go for Matt Lucas and Pearl Mackey. I think they would have been great, honestly. Um, also, I think William Russell could have been quite good. And Katie Manning would just be a riot. And that would be really funny. Hopes for the 60th anniversary. Hopefully, Jodie Whittaker will still be the Doctor at that point. It would be really great to see her meet David Tennant. Oh, wait. Genuinely, though, um, a multi-Doctor story with as many Doctors as possible would be great. Like, hopefully all the new Who Doctors, uh, maybe voice cameos from the classics that are still alive. Um, definitely Paul McGann. Definitely Joe Martin. Daleks, probably. I hope Jodie Whittaker's there. That's my main thing. I hope she's still the Doctor at that point. Finally, from Christopher, which Doctor Who character is most like you? Kind of the Doctor, specifically 12 and 13. Obviously, the Doctor is like a multi-thousand-year-old time-travelling hero, god, person, and I'm not. But I, I can sort of see myself in those two incarnations, especially with 13's social awkwardness that hits close to home. Uh, Nardole, he, I can kind of relate to him. Rory as well, definitely a bit of Rory. Kind of Yaz as well. I feel like I feel like me and Yaz are a bit similar, but sort of what I'm saying off the top of my head. Um, Christopher also says congrats on the three years. Thank you, that means a lot. Uh, Joshua on Twitter, he asks, you're stuck on a desert island with three Doctor Who stories from any medium. What are they? Um, I know it's any medium, and as much as I love Big Finish, I've chosen three TV stories. Um, I've gone for Shada, the TV movie, and More Than Enough in Time, and The Doctor Falls. And Twice Upon a Time, if you'll let me, because that's kind of a three-parter. Now over to YouTube. First of all, from Clapping Penguin. Who are your favourite new series and classic Doctors? New series, definitely 12 classic, I do not know, I love them all. Silurians or Sea Devils? I'm assuming you mean the monsters, not the stories. I haven't actually seen either of those stories, so I can't really say. Sorry, if you had a TARDIS with a broken chameleon circuit, what shape would the exterior take the form of? I'm so in love with the police box that I would probably just go for that. Or like a red phone box, just to be different. Or just a door, just on its own. That would be really cool, I think. Just a door. Now onto some questions from Big Boy Media. Favourite Big Finish story? Eh, there's too many. I could not possibly pick a favourite. Um, ones that spring to mind are Absent Friends, the first volume of The Warmaster, and Adam Adamant Volume 1. Those are all terrific. But there's so many good ones, I couldn't... I don't know. They're, they're just all... They're all good. They're all so good. Have you watched Torchwood or listened to Aliens Among Us? I love Torchwood. Series 1 is very rough. Series 2 gets going and 3 and 4 are just some of the best telly ever made. Yes, Miracle Day is... Yes, I said that about Miracle Day. Yes, I did. And Aliens Among Us, I have not listened to because it is expensive. Next questions come from Lumdurden. L-M-D-R-D-N. Lumdurden. Sorry. Before the questions, they've said, Hey, I have some questions, but first of all, are you doing alright? Tough times doing online courses and staying inside. It depends where you live, but I hope things are going well wherever you are. Thank you! That means a lot. I know everything I say sounds sarcastic, but that's just, that's just my voice. That genuinely means a lot. Thank you. I'm not doing the best I've ever done, but I'm doing fine. I'm a lot better than a lot of other people. I can't really complain to be honest. Thank you for asking and I hope you're doing okay as well because you seem very nice. Thank you very much for that. Now on to their questions. Who's your favourite music artist right now? I couldn't pick a favourite. I don't really listen to artists. I just listen to songs that I like. Uh, there's no artist that I like follow at all. Um, although I'm a big ABBA fan. ABBA just not a single note wrong 
in any of their songs. Just incredible. Who is your all-time favourite actor? Probably Peter Capaldi. Just love him. What a dude. Where was the coolest or most beautiful place you've ever been on vacation? I've not really been out of the UK that often. Um, I've been to like London and places like that, but probably I would say Jersey, one of the Channel Islands. My experiences there have been very nice. It's very sunny, very warm, nice ice cream. Do you have any siblings? One horrible older brother? Blech. Do you play video games? If so, do you play Among Us? I have my brother's old Xbox, which I sometimes play games on, mainly Lego Star Wars. The only proper game I've done like the whole story of, really GTA 5 and Jedi Fallen Order. Again, those were both hand-me-downs. I'm not really much of a gamer. Um, but yes, I do play Among Us because I got peer pressured into it. But I'm glad because I'm terribly good at it. Thanks for all the lovely questions, Lum Durden. That was that was fab. Thank you. Doctor Whom asks. Uh, well, first of all, he says you have a great channel. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, he then asks, if you were a showrunner, uh, what would be the first thing you would change, and the first thing you would keep the same? I would change the title sequence, the theme, TARDIS console, Sonic Screwdriver, all of those sort of the general stuff that you change. Um, the first thing I would keep it the same, I don't, I don't know. I honestly have no idea what I would do as showrunner. Probably cry and then quit because that's too stressful and I couldn't, I couldn't do that. That's no, not for me. Uh, he also asks, would you like to see a 60s style Dalek movie following the same storyline as The Chase, but with Richard E. Grant instead of Peter Cushing? Yes! Yes! Absolutely yes! 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 Dr. Muir asks, when are you planning to do an updated DVD collection? Uh, whenever I can be bothered. I wanted to do one today, assuming this comes out on the 11th. I wanted to do it on the 11th because I've done a DVD collection every like anniversary. It's sort of tradition. But I just didn't have the energy this time, to be honest. Dr. Muir also asks, do you like Weetabix? Dunno. Never tried it. Cullen Artwork asks, what sonic screwdrivers do you have in your collection? I have a 9th and 10th Doctor screwdriver, but it's broken. I also have an 11th Doctor screwdriver and a 12th Doctor sonic screwdriver. I would really like a 4th Doctor one, because that's my favourite design. It's very sexy. When will the Q&A come out? About 15 minutes ago. Finally, we have a question from Not In Use, except they clearly are still in use. But favourite story from each Doctor's era? Bear in mind, I haven't seen every single story ever. Like, I've only seen four Hartnells and three Davisons, so this is definitely subject to change. But here we go anyway. An Unearthly Child, but only episode one, The Invasion, even if it is a bit long. Planet of the Daleks, Shada, or City of Death, I don't know. The Five Doctors, which is kind of a cheat, but I don't care. Attack of the Cybermen. Silver Nemesis, the TV movie, Only the Monstrous, Boomtown, that is not a joke, The Stolen Earth and Journey's End, Nightmare and Silver, that is not a joke either, World Enough in Time, The Doctor Falls and Twice Upon a Time, and Fugitive of the Jadoon. So that's been the anniversary Q&A. Obviously, I've said this before, but I'm saying it again, I love you guys. All the support you guys have given me over the last three years has been mind-boggling. It's just insane. Um, thank you so, so much. But if you want to see what I'm up to and what I'm chatting about, then please do follow me on Twitter, at Doctor of Disco, because that's where I do my tweeting. Yeah, so thank you very much for all your questions, and thank you very much for watching and subscribing, and hopefully I will see you again soon. Take care, wear your mask, social distance, eat your fruit, laugh hard, run fast, and be kind. Bye bye